Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel. I hope all is well with you Aries. We're getting right okay into your reading, all right? So Aries, know that we are in a Mercury retrograde and we still are in full moon in Pisces energy. So the desire to, what is this? Love. <laughs> Um, I'm going to do love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. That was in this deck here. So someone's love or you want love. Someone's taking a leap of faith here in this Mercury retrograde Aries. So the Six of Cups is here thinking about the past and they're getting emotional about you. We have the world with the moon card again, hiding their feelings, wanting to come forward but karma there's karma here right aries someone needs to make a decision i feel like that's you or this person do you want to move on and have a new start for yourself or do you want to keep hiding how you feel right i feel like there's marrying here with the both of you with karma trying to come in the shadow side both of you your fears are breaking away but there's this hopeless feeling that things aren't going to work out i'm getting this is Someone you could either be in separation with or communicating. It's just they're really obsessing over this connection with you and wanting to work things out with the Capricorn energy. I kind of want to see what is this Ace of Wands, the Devil, and the Three of Pentacles. How is this person feeling? Hand of cards. Taking a chance, risk, being strategic here. Yeah, not showing hand. Again, there's that devil energy. Codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block restraint. Constantly thinking about the situation. I feel like this is the both of you here. You guys are both not showing your hand, not taking a risk, just kind of just being sad. You know, we have the queen of pentacles and the page of pentacles as well. You could have a child with this person. This is why you're in slow communication, but you know, you're single, you're co-parenting. Um, some of you want to make this right, but at the same time, it's like we tried this before. Why do we want to do this again if you're dealing with a child situation? Um, if you're, if you guys don't have children, it says you're showing up as the queen to his page of pentacles in reverse. So he doesn't feel, they don't feel worthy enough for you. Um, they feel like they need to work harder in order to get the stability that they want with you, the commitment that they want. It's just right now their pathway is being blocked and we're going to see why with this two of wands in reverse here with the hierophant. So this could be that they're in another commitment that they're trying to get out of, but money issues are holding them back. Yeah, the Three of Cups is here and the King of Cups. There could be another relationship that's tying them down before they can truly have a new start with you with the Ten of Wands. There's a burden that they're carrying that they need to tell you about. Ooh, we have two tens here, the ten ten angel number. So embrace this new beginning. Wow. Wow, guys, Aries, 10, 10, 10, angel number. Really, that's what y'all want to do. <laughs> if, uh, all right, I'm going to pause for a minute, Aries, because we have the four, the 10 of wands, the 10 of swords, and the 10 of cups. I'm feeling like this person potentially might be a karmic for you. And yeah, we have courtship. There's a love that's coming in. This could also be this person, um, but distant horizons. Okay. With despair. All right. So I'm getting this was an off and on relationship for a lot of you Aries where you guys were either long distance, you're dating, you're in that courtship phase where it's like you want something more, but this person is either busy in their work, they have an over demanding boss or they're so focus on their work that because they're taking care of a child or another situation here. They want to come forward for a lot of you and try to court you here. But I feel like Aries, they've taken you for the ringer. You know, they took you on this up and down slope with the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. You don't know what to do. So that's what I'm getting as well. It's like you're following your intuition that, you know, this person put you through so much. And it's like... Why would I want to put myself through that again when I cut you off, right? I feel like the emotions are holding you back from having a new start as well because emotionally you're still stuck on this person. But in reality, you're like, no, I follow my intuition. I ended this for a reason. You stabbed me in the back way too many times. I took action on that, but emotionally I'm still thinking about this person, right, Aries? So it's like you want to nip this in the bud. You don't want drama. The situation has, you know, lowered your confidence, um, greatly here with the strength card this leo energy aries sagittarius energy also could be dealing with an aries here they're feeling like you were the better match they really do 
And, you know, like I said, overall energy here, you know, is karma. They're, 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 they're gaining their dues. They're getting their dues, definitely here. Whether that's in finances or a love situation, family here. They're, they're trying to get things together. So they're kind of going through a cycle here with the Wheel of Fortune. How is this King of Wands feeling right now? We have date. Meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plans set a date and seduction. Attractive, flirty, and wanting to hook up with you, third party influence here. So use your discernment, Aries, when this person comes forward because, again, they see you as this beautiful, vibrant Queen of Wands. You're in your energy right now, Queen of Cups energy. You're getting yourself together, but look at this King of Wands. You know, just be mindful of this King of Wands actions. What are their intentions? Having a victory with you. All right, I'm gonna leave that alone. Wanting to come forward and being straight up. I feel like they're just gonna flirt, right? They're attracted to you, you know, they're tempted to wanna hook up, but I know that, you know, you might not you <laughs> hold back on this. You know, communicate. Don't just get out there and, you know, intimacy right away. I feel like this is what caused you guys to again on downhill slope at the beginning. It was all about that. It's time to communicate your emotions and communicate them well aries Ari, any advice with this eight of wands and the two of cups no need to worry about this and it's up to you if you want to take action on this commitment all right we have the six of cups here ace of cups repressed feelings about the past you're, you're holding on to a lie aries you're conflicted in your head this is why the tire moment is coming in because you're you are stagnant too so this is karma with you trying to figure out how to make a decision? How can you give more into yourself? And you're not doing that, right? So the tire moment is coming in where the truth, the deception is going to come to light. And you're going to see this person for what they are, right? A lot of you, they were telling you a good game. Like they had money, they had the job, they had all this. In reality, they didn't. They were working on that. They're hoping that with them being honest now, you can hear them out and work on this. <laughs> Clarify this nine of pentacles energy, marriage, yeah. They want to talk about this. They might want to elope with you right away, crazy. They feel like that's the only thing that they can that can heal this, that prove to them that they want long term because of their past mistakes. Two of pentacles in reverse with the page of swords. Why is the page of swords and two of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, feeling overwhelmed over words that were said that they didn't really mean with this king of cups energy. Put in words, I felt emotionless. I, they felt like they didn't give a damn. And that's what's killing them inside now with the death card, the Scorpio energy, cancer, double Pisces as well here with the moon. You know, seeing things for what it is and having the strength to try to win you back here, Aries. I mean, let's see how long it's going to take because, you know, we did see clock is going to, oops, sorry, guys. It's going to take some time here. That was quick. A year from now and wait. I think I just saw a few more months too. Anything else for my Aries? Opportunity and if you believe. So it's saying it takes opportunity to focus on you. We have the full in the world card here. So there's a new chapter in your life that is starting Aries. This person is going to try here. Um, you know, this is a collective reading. So a year from now, that is... It's so huge. I shouldn't even pull these cards for collective readings because um, it's so broad. Um, let me just pull one more. Yeah, take action a year from now and wait. Yeah, Spirit is saying wait in perfect timing. So, again, collective readings, this is what's going to come out. You know, this perfect time is going to take action. Spirit is saying no, wait on this and just focus on you, Aries, all right? I'm going to get some action cards here just to see if there's anything that you need to take action on. Hey. Any advice here? Yeah. You need to set goals, Aries. Set goals on what you want and figure out how to get there. Um, you're too much in your head. Like, you know what to do, but you're all over the place. It's saying, too, if you can, get a journal and write down your goals and go towards them in regards to love or just your passions here. I have a feeling since that you have been feeling unmotivated. A little bit Aries. Yeah, I'm manifesting the things that you want due to sadness from your past. Holding on to that is only going to keep this past um, lingering into your present. You know, the past has happened. You can't go back. And now it's time to move forward and let things go and manifest the life that you want, Aries. All right. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. Take action and have a wonderful week.